We're going to end this series with a few examples. So down here I have a string or a username. I then have an email. I also have two URLs. Uh, I also have a HTML anchor tag. And we're going to write expressions to match all of these. So in our expression bar or our expression field, the first thing that I'm going to match is this one. So I'm going to insert a character class. I'm going to say zero to nine and we also want a to z and a to z uh, add a plus sign and let's just get rid of these to make things clearer and there you go we have a match so let's get rid of that and paste the rest in get rid of these ones we're looking at an email now and we've already done this one but let's go over it again just for recap so we want a to z uh, a to z uh, we also want zero to nine and we also want to allow underscores and that's going to be set to multiple we then want an at sign and then we want to match a domain name so it's going to be a to z a to z and zero to nine and that's going to be plus two we then want a dot which we need to escape and then we want a domain which can be com org net uh, co.uk or anything like that but we want to make this group non-capturing. So we do that with a question mark colon. I also want to capture the whole email and I also want to capture the domain name. So I'm going to encase that in uh, parentheses as well. So down here, if we say uh, $1, we get the full email, $2, and then we just get the, the domain. Next is the URL. The first thing that we want to match is HTTP or HTTPS. So we're going to say HTTP colon slash slash and let's get rid of this. But we also want to match this one. So at the S, great, now it's not matching this one. Well, all we have to do is make that colon. And by the way, we should escape these just so regex knows that they aren't delimiters. And let's just add another name down here. So example.com and you'll see why I did that soon. So we want, we have our HTTP. Next, we want to match this part of the domain. So we're going to add a non-capturing group. And this is going to be A to Z, A to Z, zero to nine. And this is going to be plus. Oh, this should be a character class. And then we want to add our period, but it has to be escaped. And then finally, we want a non-capturing group we want to allow com or org or net and the rest of them. Now, now you see why I created this here. We're matching these ones successfully, but for some reason this isn't working. And that's because we're looking for HTTP, but it doesn't exist in this one. So I'm going to add parentheses around here and I'm going to make it optional. And we also want to make that non-capturing. So there's our URL expression. Next, we want to match a anchor tag. Now this one is going to be a little, uh, a little different. So let's get the skeleton, uh, so if you will, uh, sorted out. So we have a href, and then we have the closing tag. We need to escape this. So regex doesn't think that this is a delimiter. And now we can continue with a regular expression. Now before we do, I just want to add one more example and I'm going to change these to single quotes. So now what we have to do is allow this to be either double quotes or single quotes. So we do that with a character class. We could do uh, something like that. That would work. But instead we're going to keep it simple and do a character class. So there we have our opening quote, but we also need to include this. We're going to add another character class, A to Z, A to Z, and zero to nine. And then we're going to close it with our closing quote. And we need to add another character set for that. So let's get rid of this closing tag and check it matches. And something went wrong somewhere. So let's just break this down until we can find out what's wrong. So that's working. So it must be something to do Oh, okay, we need to add a, a plus sign here, silly me, and we're still not getting it. Uh, let's try. We need to allow for these, 
so we're also going to add those in our character set and we don't need to escape these since they are in our character set and we also need to add a dot and we do need to escape that one okay so that matches now next thing that we need to match is this so we're going to add a character set and this is going to be actually we don't need a character set for that because the label of an anchor tag can be pretty much anything it could contain more tags if we needed it to so we're just going to match dot plus and then we just need to match the closing tag so let's add that and escape that slash now if we go in substitution type dollar one we're not getting anything and what i want to do is i want to capture the url and i also want to capture the label or the name so i'm going to add a parenthesis around the url like so and now we get the url i also want to capture this label so we're just going to add a parentheses around there and now we have our two groups now we haven't covered every single aspect of regular expressions but do go to regexer.com and look through this reference you don't really need to know every single symbol but it would be helpful to just uh, play around and learn as much as you can